Hey everyone, this is Razor from Razor's Edge, and we are looking at Gunsmith. Now this is an early access alpha. They have a Discord channel. I'll put all that information. Actually, it's in the game, but I'll put the information uh, in the uh, comments, and you can check this out, get on Discord. I don't know if they're still giving out keys. I paid for my copy because I support developers, indie developers. Let's specify that. But basically, this is a gun manufacturer. Um, you've all seen the movie, uh, uh, I can't remember what it was, uh, Tom Cruise, or no, uh, was it something Cruise? Tom Cruise? I don't know. I, I, I can't remember actors. But he's dealing weapons. <laughs> and then the other one with those two idiots and had no idea what they were doing. Well, yeah, that's what we are. We're, we're a gun dealer. So basically, we're gonna start out, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cover everything in here from finance, cookbook, market, um, what these are here, all these tools, monitoring, research, the control line. But we're gonna start off with something very simple. So the game's kind enough; it does give you a tutorial. I recommend that you read it when you start. Um, but it gives you all these pieces. Now, they're not laid out in any sense of any order to make anything right now. So we're going to start off right now. We're going to make, um, if you go to the cookbook, you can see what's available to you. And as you can see right now, we can make fabric gloves and camo gloves. Those are two things that we can sell. And then plastic fittings. Um, in the machines, we've got a cutter machine, a plastic former, and you can merge machines. Um, I haven't done a lot with merge machines, but I have with the control panel. I'll show you that later. The control panel makes it very easy to um, work uh, an assembly line on and off in one keystroke. So you can move these by double clicking on them and moving them around. So we're gonna move and set up everything here in the middle. Now, first thing you're gonna want is a dispenser. If you hit the R key, it actually rotates the item and you want it in the arrow direction. All right, we're ignoring any new orders. Okay, so now we have our dispenser. If you see the dispenser, we want fabric blocks. All right, as you notice, it's in the off position. All right, next thing we're gonna need is a conveyor belt. And double click on that. We're gonna drag that. We're gonna hit R. I wanna make sure it's going in, in the right direction. All right, and you can tilt the camera by holding the middle mouse button down and get a good idea of, and you can zoom in and out too with a mouse wheel. All right, so with the, the next piece you're gonna need for the gloves is a cutter. So let's find a cutter, plastic form. No, I think the plastic former, no. Heater. All right, so let's grab the heater and let's put that down right there. And it is in the off position. The next piece we're gonna need is the plastic former. That's what's gonna make the output of the little plastic fittings. So let's go ahead and double click on that. Uh, get rid of that first. Double click on that. We'll hit the R key, get it going in the right direction. Well, hold on, first we need a belt. Now, if there's anything you build by accident, you can hit the um, demolition right here and delete any piece there's also a build mode this is all the things you can build it does cost money uh, depending on what level of the game you start out on is the uh, dictates how much money you have all right so the next thing we're gonna need is let's see what this does I'm pretty sure a sewing machine is probably something we're going to need. So let's grab another belt. Let's get that in the right direction. 
All right, so we've got our belt there. Let's grab our sewing machine. All right. Now the computer is right here. All that is is line control. You just hit add a station, hit the R key. You can set it up here. And that just gives you the ability to turn off everything on and off. So you can add, go away. You're gonna get these pop-ups. Just reject them at first because you can't fill them anyway. You're gonna hit the, the machine you want and hit add. Or just, just the opposite of what I just said. <laughs> hit add, click on the machine, add, click on the machine, add, click on the machine. All right, so we have our assembly line. Now you can see we can power on and power off at the click of, of one, one simple uh, keystroke. Like such. Yep, we just spit one out. Of course, we turned that off too early. <laughs> Which is fine. Alright, let's get rid of that. The other thing we're going to need... We're going to need one of these doohickeys. This is our line. We can actually turn this around, I believe. And grab one of these little belts. I think this will work. I haven't tried it yet. Come on, double click. That should drop those off into this little can the lever. And somewhere in here should be a boxing machine. There we go. Let's bring that over here. Kind of hard to see. You can flip it around. I don't even think we really need this. Let's put that guy right there and let's put this right here. Hopefully that spits the boxes out where we want them. Alright, now we want to go ahead and add in our new pieces. Alright, I think we have everything we need. We've got racks, actually, for storage. And I haven't tested that yet. And they do stack. All right. So let's go ahead and go to our control panel and let's hit the on switch and let's see what exactly this does. You know, I did not add a cooling or an output. Yeah, I did. Plastic fitting. Does it really take the... Oh, there they come. I see them. I see stuff going in. Sewing machine is smacking. Obviously, something has gone serious wrong. <laughs> I 
Let me turn that one on by itself. Oh, that didn't... That, well, they were all on. Alright, I'm missing a piece in my assembly line that I have forgotten when I went through this the first time. Okay, so this is what I got so far. Now, basically it's two setups. So you need a dispenser, you need a cutter machine for the output of the gloves with the input of fabric sheets which pop out here. And if I click on that, you see those. And it goes through these series of lines into a merger machine, into a boxing machine. But I ran into a problem. That belt wasn't in the position. I had it out here too far. If you run into that, you hit the F key, which is also that key right there, and just highlight that, and it they're gone. So let's double click that and see if I can't get that conveyor belt right in there where it needs to be. And hopefully that won't jam up here. See if I can move it over just a little bit. I cannot. So we may we're gonna need to move that back. And this is just get basically getting up our basic functionality. Let's put another belt in there. All right, now that should work. Everything is connected to the controller. I can guarantee you they're going to fall off that. Or maybe not. It's as close as it goes. I may need a conveyor right there. We'll find out. So let's see if this all works. I can hit one power button. There they all come out. And see the gloves going in. Now they are in fact making it to the boxer. And they should pop out in here in boxes. I hope. <laughs> oh, I don't have any. <laughs> that might be something else I, I need to research. But if you look in here, it shows the actual output. So I've got 41 plastic fittings and only uh, producing one one glove a camo glove okay if you have everything set up like I do with two sewing machines the boxer you'll notice now that it's filling up boxes this conveyor belt which is the final piece automatically puts the boxes in the racks. But there's our complete assembly line for camo gloves. There we go. You see the box? It'll disappear. And it appears on your racks. So there you have it. The whole control panel. As you can see, I can now shut everything off on the assembly line with one click. It is auto-saving. So now we can actually start filling orders. So as that's running, while we still have supplies in our resources, as you can see, we're, dwindle we're out. Um, we've got 60 camo gloves, so if we look at the orders, they want 240. All right, so let's go shopping.
All right, so we're going to cover research next, but we need to go to the market. And we're going to have to buy... Uh, let's... Uh... There we go. And the fabric sheets. So that's how the global market goes. Now, if we go to resources, we should, in fact, now have a stock supply. We've got 100 uh, camo gloves. So before we do that, let's move on to research. Now, we've looked at the market. This is basically where you buy and sell uh, resources. We've looked at orders. These are the available. These are your clients. And these are your active orders that you've accepted. Now, we need a resource budget. So we can assign per day an RP, a research point per day. And we're going to set that to one. Now we should start accumulating research points. We click on our finance. There's our output, our maintenance. And now we have a resource budget. Now we have 260 camo gloves. So let's look at an order. We can fill that. Let's fill this one. I think I just sold it. Let's look. All right, so we just increase our reputation with that client. Now, as we progress, we can start making more and more advanced um, with research. We can start to unlock Uh, more of our um, cookbook items. So if we get a research here, zoom in. We've got nine points. Thirty for that. Twenty-five. So it's going to be a while before we get enough research points. But let's take a look at all the research. Uh, this a pretty massive research tree. Again, this is pretty amazing. This is er still early access alpha. But we can resource racking, ammunition, weapons. We can increase our productivity, change our sewing levels, metal formers. Wonder why our reputation just decreased. We didn't do anything. All right, let's see. Take a look at our. We only have 80 gloves. We still have plenty of resources. Let's look at our finances. They have 20, 2,400 sales. So it looks like we're pretty much breaking even at this point. So that's a real quick look just to get you started. Um, there's a couple things in here. There's a scenario goal. Roads to riches, 100 million. That's going to take a while. Let's see. Oh, there went our operating cost. This is your power consumption, water when you start to use it for cooling. I assume that's when we start working with metal.
And down in here, we haven't even touched this. Um, these are where you can buy belts. There's your dispensers end of line, heating, cooling. None of these are going to be available because we haven't un unlocked them yet. Punching, sewing, shakers, utilities, all this stuff. Uh, I assume that stuff's coming. Decor. But I, I think this is a pretty fun game. And, um... By the way, I can sell this stuff, too. So if I click on these, I get the money out of them. 50. Because I don't need these belts. Now we'll keep these around because I'm sure sooner or later we're going to need them. Well, let's turn that off. I don't want to kill anything else. <laughs> But not a bad looking game. Um, let's go ahead and get some money out of that too. There we go. That helps our profits. And the idea is you're going to be able to uh, make more and more uh, items, clients. Let's take a look at our resources versus our orders. We can pull that one. And let's go ahead and fill it. All right. I assume that if you sell to one, your reputation is going to decrease with another. Or neutral with two clients. But that's it so far. We will keep track of the progress of this game. Um, I, I think it's really cool. Now, just to save the game, you can save right here. There is an auto save, so we'll just put like a number one in there. And uh, we'll keep uh, track of progress, keep playing, unlock more research. But what's in here right now, if you hop in, you know, want to get involved in the early access of this project, it's, uh, I think it's really worth it. It's not a bad little tycoon game. And, uh, let me get to the publisher information. Hold on just a second. So the publisher is, I just lost it. <laughs> C Corp Technologies. Um, they are the developer and the publisher. It's a small de indie indie dev company. And the actual game the, it, it is Gunsmith. I don't know if I was saying that right before. Um, but they do have a Facebook page, Twitter, I forget, Reddit, IndieDB. Um, this game actually, if I looked, let me go down here. Um, I definitely would hop on their Discord channel. Looks like there's 16 Steam achievements. No, I don't see any awards, but uh, I'll look them up on NDDB, see how well they scored. Um, but the project looks really promising. Um, and it's a good community. Hop on their Discord, see if they're still getting giving keys away. Um, and uh, we'll keep covering. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was useful in getting uh, your operation up and running um, without any hassles. And uh, happy hunting. <laughs> happy shooting. So special thanks out to uh, all the uh, curator followers, um, my uh, subs, subscriptions on my channel. Thank you very much. I appreciate the views and the support for the indie development movement and indie media coverage. You guys are fantastic. So thanks a lot, and I will see you guys next time. Same channel.
Same voice, different game, maybe. <laughs> Take care.